your daily update brought to you by Wash and Go. How are we doing guys? Welcome to UFF Daily. So Europa League action last night. First we're going to get into the Chelsea game because um, that was the first one and it was a 1-0 win for them. It was not great against PAOK. Um, now the game's not really the talking point. It's the absence of Eden Hazard. Now I initially thought that the absence was just to do with them resting him. It was you know the club's decision. Um, which is quite normal for these type of games. You look at the Arsenal one, there were players rested in that. But apparently, it was Eden Hazard that actually asked to be rested. Um, now, that hasn't sat too well with some Chelsea fans that, you know, a player early into the season is already asking for a break and doesn't want to play. Now, I know he went to the latter stages of the World Cup um, with Belgium. But he did have a break at the start of the season. He wasn't rushed into the side like, for example, Harry Kane at Spurs. Um, he was on the bench for the first few games, even on the bench against Arsenal. So he was used sparingly. And um, yeah, it seems a bit of a strange one that he's coming out already and saying that he wants to be rested. And obviously some Chelsea fans are not happy about that. If he's in danger of burning out, then I fully understand the decision. But obviously I don't know that in depth about it. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. But Chelsea, they didn't really miss him in terms of the result, maybe in terms of the performance. Like I said, it wasn't great, but they got the three points. They've won away in the first game of the Europa League and um, they'll be happy. Uh, next game, of course, involves Arsenal and we got off to what was a comfortable win. It was 4-2 against FC Volska. Um, and what I'll say about that is that once we went 4-0 up, things just got very comfortable. We took Aubameyang off, we took Lucas Torreira off and then we got a bit complacent and we conceded two goals and that was the down point of the game. Apart from that, it was very, very good performance. It was very controlled. Aubameyang, I thought, played really well. He looked like he had a bit of a spring in his step. He looked to be really sharp and he looked really quick last night. Um, and I felt that this game is perfect for him to get him going for the rest of the season. In my preview to the game on my channel, I'd done the predicted lineup and I actually got it spot on apart from one player and I had Mavropanos starting. Um, but obviously, I didn't realise at the time he was injured and obviously Socrates come in and speaking of him, it was a really good performance from him. But yeah, like I said, a couple of goals for Aubameyang and... Um, yeah, that was decent, decent. Um, so last piece of news involves uh, Theo Walcott, actually. And um, he's done a interview for Sky Sports with Alex Scott. And it's a very open and honest interview, quite revealing. Um, and obviously he's been speaking because Everton are playing Arsenal this weekend. Um, and he said that he fell out of love with football at Arsenal. Um, in the last year to year and a half or so and I can understand that and I know where he's coming from when he spoke about this because you know he would come into the side he'd maybe put a good performance in but then he'd be on the bench the next one it was just in out all the time and I think that that was partly to do with his issue and he's saying that he's now back in love with football he's enjoying himself again now he's at Everton his family are now moved up there as well and everything starts to fall into place. Now, he's already been back to the Emirates because just after he moved, Everton came down. But he said that he felt that he was still at Arsenal. It was so soon after him leaving, he didn't have a chance to really leave. So now he has settled and now he has had a chance to really bed in on Merseyside. It's a chance for him to come back and probably enjoy himself more. So hopefully he doesn't enjoy himself too much. Um, and hopefully he has an awful game. No offence, Theo, but... Um, yeah, it'd be an interesting one to see you know, him coming back. And obviously, he'll get a good reception. He's been at the club a long time, over 100 goals. Regardless what you think of him and you know his performances at time, um, you give him the respect for what he did at the club. So, um, there we go. That is it for today's UFF Daily. I will be back tomorrow with the news in football. So, I will see you a lot then. I'm out of here.